The last time we touched base with a Biden at work, it was November. Supporting their Lights of Hope display didn't require leaving your car. Now, something where you don't even need to leave your house. Abide CEO Josh Dotzler is back also with us. Better Together student leaders Amy and Jamar. Hi, guys. It's nice to meet you. And Josh, always a pleasure to have always you on the show. Last time um, your parents were here. And they're so delightful. I mean, and I know you were raised in, in their spirit of, of giving back and really taking care of the community. So, so remind us a little bit about Abide and what your mission is. Yeah, my parents started Abide about 26 years ago uh, in North Omaha. And really the heart to see some of the communities in our city that are faced with challenges, crime, poverty, violence, completely transformed. Mm -hmm. And so we do that through housing, buying old abandoned houses, fixing them up, putting families into them. Uh, we do that. Uh, through our programs, which mm -hmm. these two uh, individuals are a part of some of our student programs, That's tutoring, right. mentoring, recreation, mm -hmm. community building, and then engaging thousands of partners every year. Mm. So Im impressive um, how, y how you've sustained it, how you've grown it, how you've gotten people excited about the mm. changes you're making. Um, and then we've got this Infinity Coaches Challenge, which has been around for a few years now. Yeah. Uh, Coach McDermott involved again in it. Uh, what is the concept here? Yeah, Infinity, along with the NCAA, puts mm -hmm. on this challenge with over 48 coaches from around the nation. Some uh -huh. of the biggest coaches. How do they decide? Because I mean, that matters to the coaches in their communities. How did Coach McDermott end yeah. up? Yeah, I think the coaches try to choose a charity that's just near to their heart. Mm -hmm. And since Coach McDermott came to Omaha, we got connected. Mm -hmm. And fortunately for us, um, he's just been a huge fan, huge supporter of what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. And so the last two years since he's been a part of this uh, competition, yeah. he uh, has texted me and said, hey, Josh, I'd love for, uh, to, to choose a bide. And, <laughs> and I said, well, said, let me think about it for a little bit. Let okay, me, uh, okay. <laughs> no, I would, no hesitation said of yes. We'd love to be a part of well, it. Well, because you want the money, right? Uh, is know, that part of it? Like there's a big prize involved? There is a prize. What is it? For the winning team you get a hundred thousand dollars for your organization oh my gosh last year we finished fifth right mm -hmm. out of the final four wow um so but with every round there is there is some finances but also just a great opportunity for exposure yeah hey we're on the website right now take us through the step-by-step -step so our viewers know how to vote yeah if you go to espn.com you uh -huh. have to create a login and for those who sign up for like March Madness, you should have about five or six uh, logins. <laughs> Depending on how many brackets you've got. Right. <laughs> okay. And with every email, you can vote. You find Coach Mac, click on the vote button, uh -huh. uh, sign in. And again, you can vote as with as many emails, as many logins as, as you, you have. have. You and then, vote. really, I mean, what a blessing it would be to, to give oh. that shot to you for 2016, $100,000 on the line for Abide and the other organizations that are involved. You've got till March 13th. If you'd like to vote again, it's ESPN.com slash infinity. Give us an example of what you'd do with the money. Yeah, one of the things we do is invest in young yes. leaders like this. Yeah. We work with over 200 young people on a weekly basis through our tutoring, mentoring, mm -hmm. recreation, basketball program, and they get to be a part of just some of the incredible things we're doing, and we get to see their potential become a reality. What did they do this summer? There was a, a leadership event. Yeah, they had a leadership club yeah. that was for four weeks this summer, and four days out of the week they went on field wow. trips and worked in the community and did presentations. Uh -huh. and okay guys, so what did you learn, Amy, oh, at this camp? What did you we take away from it? We learned some verses, mm -hmm. and we know that better together means helping each other out when they're down, mm -hmm. and getting them back up in their trail. Mm -hmm. mm. Jamar, what did you take away? Better together, just working together in your neighborhood. People need help at school, people bullying on you, just help them out. Mm -hmm. So is that something that you, you remember over the, the months since you were there at that camp this summer? You've had a chance to put some of those lessons to work? Mm -hmm. and, and you, Amy, do you have anything that you remember right away where you, like in your mind, you thought, I remember when, when Josh and everybody, they talked to us about this. Yeah, we went um, on like our neighborhood mm -hmm. and we cleaned up the trash in their neighborhood and invited them to a block party mm -hmm. we had in mm -hmm. the summer. Oh, that sounds awesome. Great do you job. have plans to keep, will you continue to be involved yes. with the bind? Yeah, and grow, grow up in this, which Josh makes me mm -hmm. think too. 
about the next generation, if we think about uh, the work your parents have been doing all these years. Yeah. But that's the point, right? It's not about today. Yeah. You're looking down the road and, and what this city looks like years from now. So abideomaha.org, that's the website. If you'd like to um, plug in, I know there are tons of volunteer opportunities that happen, but for now, we're focused on voting. Vote, 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 vote. Get the vote Every day. Out. <laughs> Every day. It's a lot. And you can't, right? Admit, you can vote I every single day. I forgot to vote one day. But uh, yeah, you every on I'm telling on myself. <laughs> so there is freedom, but we want man, the blue out. Vote. We want to rock the blue out too. Yeah, that's coming up at the uh, Xavier game at CenturyLink Center on February 9th. That's at seven o'clock. So you see the kids, Josh, me, we're all in blue today. Uh, no wonder about that. We've got somebody else here in blue as well, making their first visit on the show. Billy the Blue Jay. What? Come hey kids, on. can you scoot over? Make make some room on the couch for Billy. And I don't know who that. Uh, just, please don't sit on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love this. So Billy's Blue Jay is going to be there for the Blue Out on February 9th. And don't forget to vote for that Coach's Challenge and Coach McDermott and doing that through March 13th. Uh, Billy the Blue Jay, what's that back? Is that for me or is that you? You're just walking around with some abide goodies. Got a swag bag for you. Nice. Straight from Billy the Blue Jay. Um, I was driving through the neighborhood the other day and somebody had their Better Together shirt on when they were out running. Oh, so and I just cool. said, like, if you don't, if you see these shirts, and you don't know what it's about, it's abide, and it's a beautiful thing. Josh, thank you so much. And kids, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thanks Billy, for having us. thanks for all the photos today. I'm already <laughs> seeing them on social media. Everybody pumped that Billy the Blue Jay's in the house. Well, now